what is going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to be painting this wait how long is this again it's a suspended jerk bait let me measure it though i'm guessing maybe five and a half inches long oh my god uh six and a half yeah about six and a half inches six and a half inch big musky suspending jerk bait and you can see the size of my hand it is pretty big but what we're gonna do with this one we're gonna be painting this a bluegill but it's injured it's gonna be a hurt bluegill it's gonna have like it's gonna have you can see its flesh and its bones what's what's it called? oh yeah wounded bluegill this is gonna be a wounded bluegill we're gonna be painting and i just think this would be cool for a musky lure because they love to eat the bluegills, so I'm like, why not do a musky lure in a injured bluegill? But it's gonna be the opaque white. Okay, so right there, we have fully coated the lure with that, with that opaque white. And it's looking pretty cool. So, so what this pattern is basically gonna be, is we're gonna paint this a full bluegill pattern. And then we're gonna work on kind of the flesh with the pinkish flesh with the bones and that. So now, with the bluegills I like to paint, um, I usually choose a silver first and cover it all with silver. And then I move on to a limelight green, a moss green, and then detailed sepia, and then burnt umber. So it's basically what we're gonna do. So yeah, right, right here is a bluegill, bluegill one I painted with the silver base coat. This one's all ready to fish with, and that I have it all clear coated with the hooks. But yeah, it's basically I'm gonna try to make it look kind of like this, and this is neat bluegill right here. Okay, I just put the silver on and it's looking pretty cool. Now the next color, we're gonna splotch it around again. It's gonna be detailed violet. And we're gonna kind of just splotch around on it. The next color is gonna be limelight green right here from Wicked Colors. And then we're gonna put the orange belly and then the blue gill plate. Okay, so right there is our limelight green. Now the next colors, like what I said, will be the pyro orange, which is gonna run up on the gill plate right here. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna mix a normal opaque blue with a transparent blue. And we're gonna mix that together and then we're gonna put that on the gill plate up here. Okay, right there we have the orange kind of on the belly, like that. Now it's kind of looking like a bluegill. Now what we're gonna do is run the blue up here. Okay. 
Okay, so kind of like that. I kind of went heavy on this side. That's what we have so far. Now we'll move on to the moss green. Okay, so now I forgot to talk, but now what I'm actually doing is running down the detailed moss green up and down the lure to kind of give it a more darkish greenish natural effect to the lure. Okay guys, so now we're gonna be putting on the detailed sepia right there. And what we're gonna do with this is the same thing as what we did with the moss green. We're gonna layer it up and do a little bit heavier on the back. That's uh, one of the main things. And then we're gonna do the stripes with it. Okay, so now what you guys want to do is cut out your own little stencil. You can do any shape you want, but I picked out kind of a stripe. So now what we're gonna do is just spray that on like that. Just like that. And right now, again, we're using detailed sepia and go a little bit heavy on that. Okay, so right now it's looking pretty good. But now is going to be the step where we do the flesh. So right here we have some different sizes of masking tape that I cut out with a Zacto knife. You just choose the one you like and just like that you stick it on the bait. Make sure you get it into the right position you want. And then the first color we're going to spray over it is pure white, opaque white. That will kind, of, uh, kind of make the colors all show. And I think it, to me, it looks very neat. So now we're coming back with a drop of red, a drop of pink, and a drop of white. Or two, drop, two drops of red, white, and then pink. And I mix those colors together and that gives us the kind of the fleshiness tone. Now we have opaque white and we're making the bone structure. And it doesn't matter how far apart you want your bones to be. B, I like to make it pretty close together. And you can also see how I'm doing it. I'm waving it back and forth like that. You can do that. It does the same exact thing. It's just easier instead of going back and down like this right here. Like that. Now, let's see the final reveal. By the way, I did one flash mark off camera. This will be a wrap for today's video, but this was an awesome lure to paint. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit the subscribe button. It helps out the channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.